Hi guys, today I want to show you how to create augmented reality, another name is AR, with using the Adobe Aero on your iPad. Okay, first open your iPad and access to the Adobe Aero. If you don't have Adobe Aero yet, go ahead on App Store and go to the Adobe Aero and install it. This is a free application. Okay, once you install the Adobe Aero, go ahead, open the application. And once you open the application, if that is the very first time, the application might take you to the introduction tour, but I already done that. So straight open to the, the project screen. So um, if you don't have any project, go ahead, the left corner bottom, plus, and the application try to detect the surface. So when it's happened, just swing the device a little bit. Okay, so once the application got the surface like this, you want to add the object you like. So to do that is a go ahead, press button up here, plus button and press it. And once you press the button, you see the option right here. And if you don't have any object you want to put in there, go ahead starter asset inside of the starter asset there are lots of options already prepared if i click animation for example on inside of the animation folder animals girls and a robot so if i press the robot right here robot is um, applied onto your augmented reality and if you want to adjust the size and angle, press the object and you can resize or change the angles. Okay, I just here change the angles and something like this. Okay, so if I move slightly, you can see it's um, if you go on the top, and that it's right here. If you want to add some original object. Go ahead, press plus again, and go file. Before do that, um, make sure your object downloaded inside of your device. Okay, so I have a couple of objects here. And if I just press my logo on here, okay, apparently, um, I have to move a little bit here and make it bigger here, over there. So my logo is right there. If you see behind the iPad, actually it's not there, but if you see through the Adobe arrow, you can see the object right there. Okay, so that is basically how to use the Adobe arrow. But uh, I wanna show you one more trick. If we want to put some like, small animation onto this object, how I do that is um, make sure you are in the edit area and place the object you want to apply the animation. Okay, and as soon as I place the object, you see the window pop up on the bottom. And you click the icon, see the person's running. Click that and asking the, what is the trigger? So what is the timing of the animation started. So if I just press trigger, I would say tap. So tap is the timing of the animation start. Okay, so next question is what is the animation? So if I press action, there are lots of options here. Okay, so if I press spin, for example, then spin window pop up and asking you specifically how to spin, how much spin, which way you want to spin. So you can adjust as much as you like. And it's okay. So how I try that animation is correctly applied is make sure you're on the top and edit screen, move edit screen to preview. If I press preview, then if I tap, 
the object will spin. So this is simply how to create augmented reality on your device with using Adobe Aero.